Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to cover Bing X tutorial. A lot of people have been asking me about Bing X and how to use it. So here's a tutorial for you guys, especially for the beginners. So once you sign up, you will see here on the front page of Bing X. Uh, so there's three different ways you can deposit crypto into Bing X. So you start here, you go up here to the left and you choose buy crypto. And you can have three different. So you either have a quick buy, P2, P2P trading or fiat deposit. So if you go to quick buy, for example, you can buy here with your credit card. So all you have to do is, let's say, you choose here uh, what kind of currency, currency you want to uh, deposit. So let's say uh, you want to deposit uh, with USDT, uh, USD. Let's say you choose $100 and then here you will get 94 USDT. The second way to deposit is P2P. Here's basically there are other traders out there that are selling you <coughs> USDT that you can uh, buy from them. So this is basically, let's say you want to connect your wallet and you can directly get for a better price from other people. This is more complex. Uh, so personally, I recommend just to either send crypto directly to BingX. If you already, let's say, have a Coinbase account, you can go to assets and you can choose deposit here. So this is uh, a very easy way to just uh, directly deposit with crypto. So you select here coin, let's say you want to deposit USDT. You select the network, let's say you want to use the, T the Tron network, it's usually one of the cheapest one. And then you get the address here. Uh, and then basically you just copy and paste it. Uh, here you copy the address and then you paste it, let's say from your other exchange or your Coinbase account, and then you can send here. Uh, so here's basically uh, how you get uh, funded your funds into the account and then you have the overview here so when you go to assets here you have overview and you can see here you can check here your your fund account here's basically all your uh, your funds in your accounts but if you want to trade futures you will have to transfer them to your futures account so you can see your futures account down here on the left so you can see here for example right now i have no zero funds in my futures account and if i want to trade futures i need to choose transfer and then you choose here your fund account and then you will have to transfer to the futures account so there are different contracts there are perpetual futures and then there are standard futures personally i'm just trading trading standard futures so i'm choosing your standard futures i you just select the coin right now i have usdt you can select the amount so let's say i want to move all my funds into the futures account and then you press confirm and they will transfer in instantly uh, then you have copy trading account for those that are using copy trader then you have a uh, different kind of account uh, greed account here which i'm pers personally not really using then you have wealth account and then basically you have your asset records here but the most important are the overview the fund account and the futures account so once you make a deposit your money will go into the fund account and then you have to just cl click transfer to transfer them into your futures account and then you have also Convert. So let's say you want to con you have one crypto here you want to convert you can choose here a uh, convert so let's say you have bitcoin so you can you want to directly convert bitcoin into ethereum so you would just choose here what what you want to convert it to so let's say you have btc or you have ethereum and you want to convert it into usdt or let's say you have bnb and you can select how much percent of your let's say bitcoin you want to convert sell into usdt so all you have to do is basically go here to assets then you go to fund account and then you click convert let's say you want to, because you will need usdt to trade futures then the next you want to do here is you go here to derivatives and you want to trade futures you just move your mouse here and you go down here to standard futures so once you go here to standard futures here is your whole futures setup here's where you can place trades etc so first to start off with is let me just make the camera smaller here so you can see better so first you start start off with uh let's see if i can move this one up here so you start off here choose what pair you want to trade so here on standard futures you have you can have your favorite so let's say yeah, i like the bitcoin usdt pair you can click a star here like ethereum let's say i like near protocol which are my favorite ones so right now i have here all, under my favorites bar all my favorite pairs so let's say i want to trade ethereum i just click here on ethereum and the ethereum chart will come up here so I really like the interface here on BingX. You can go on the daily time frame here on the four hour. Personally, right now I'm very bullish on Ethereum. So let's say we want to place a trade on Ethereum. So you have two options here. You have a long option and you have a short option. So long is when you want to bet that the price will go higher and short is when you want to bet that price will go lower. So personally, right now, I do believe that price will go higher. So if we zoom in here on the four hour, I do think price will probably go sideways here and then sooner or later we're gonna take off. 
So let's play. Let's say I want to place a long here. So you can choose either a short or long. I want to place a long here, so I do believe that the price will go higher. So all I have to do is here. You can choose. First, you want to choose here down on the left where you see the take profit and the stop loss. You want, this you want to click both of them. So both the take profit and the stop loss. And then I prefer down here you come and you choose USDT. So here you choose the stop loss of your trade and then you choose your leverage. So your leverage is how much the money you're borrowing. So let's say right now I only have available 178, but let's say I use 5x leverage. This allows me to use five times this. So let's say I only have $100, but I want to play with 500. I want to buy for 500. Then you can use 5x leverage and I can buy, my buy, buying power is $500 to buy with. But this means also my downside is five times more. So let's say Bitcoin will go down by 50%. So instead of losing, or let's say Bitcoin will go down by 10%. So instead of losing $10, I would use $50. So you get kind of the idea with leverage. So the higher the leverage, the much more riskier the trade is. So let's say for this trade, I want to use 10 leverage. And I want to use, let's say 25% of my account. So this means my total trading volume, you can see here is $400. So this is basically I'm using 10x, only 25%. So if I would use my whole account, so my total trading volume is 1000 786 instead of just 178 dollars uh, so i'm using 10x i'm going all in um, or let's say i'm going 25 percent of my total account so i'm buying for four for total 400 dollars bitcoin and then i want to place my take profit here so let's say i want to take my take profit at 80,000. so once bitcoin reaches 80,000, that's good when i'm going to take my profit and my total profit if the take profit hits is going to be 64 dollars uh, and let's say I want to have a stop loss. I want to place my stop loss just under this low here, which is around 68,370. So then I write here 68,370 and I press buy long here. So right now we can see here the order has been placed. You can see here we entered at this price. The stop loss is down here and our take profit is way up here. So let's say my take profit gets hit. That's when uh, it will add, add automatically execute and I'll exit my trade. Let's, end, let's say prices start coming down here soon and I want to then change my take my stop loss. So I can start moving my stop loss more down uh, in case uh, that I want to switch it. Or let's say the price are coming higher and I don't want to my stop loss so high so I can start moving uh, my take profit. So I can start moving my take profit more down uh, in case price comes here. Let me see now. Right now it's not letting me switch it. Uh, yeah so right now my take profit is lower so that's why i really like about being as you can being actually you can really move, move this around freely uh if you change your mind once you've placed a trade and so on so down here you can see here on realized pnl so this right now if i would exit my position uh, i'm down uh, 0.3 usd at the moment so let's say i want to close partial of my position so you can uh, choose here close so if let's say you want to exit my position right now uh, one way is if I want to exit the position, 100% of my position, I just click the X right here, then I'll close the trade automatically. But let's say I only want to take partial profits. Then you come here, close, and then you choose partial position. So let's say my entire position, I only want to take 50% profits, uh, or I want to exit half my position. I choose here 50%, and then I press close here. So right now I've sold half my position, and my position size is much, much smaller now. So right now my total margin is just 22 US dollars instead of 43 out of my 178 dollars. So this is in short basically how you place trades here on Bingx. If you want to learn more, make sure to join my Discord link down below. Make Also make sure to use my link down below to sign up to Bingx to get lower fees and more bonuses while signing up. And make sure to join my Discord as well. I'm available. You can send me any questions there, any messages. Like the video and I'll see you again tomorrow guys for another Bitcoin analysis. Yeah, trendsetter. Whoa, league of my own, it don't get better. No, read what I wrote, I'm a bestseller. Yeah.